Welcome to the R video tutorial on testing constant variance in regression using R. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is read in our data. I have some data here that is interested in a uh, riparian buffer, what percent of the, the bank of, or a site is a riparian buffer, and an ecological score associated with it. So I'm going to read in this data, then I'm going to plot it, I'm going to run a linear model on it or a regression line on it, and I'm going to plot it on there. Since this is not about regression, you can go read or read about regression or look at the regression video. All right, so I'm going to run this, and we'll get a plot up here. All right, so now you can see our regression line plotted and our data plotted. Now, if you notice in this, our variance, i.e. the spread around the line, is not uniform across the x variable. It looks as though as we move from left to right, the variance is getting wider as we move in that direction. And this is an example of what we would consider non-constant variance. But looking at a picture and saying it looks like there's non-constant variance is not a test. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the Broich Pagan test for non-constant variance. In order to do this, you're going to need the residual squared, and you're going to need your predictor squared. So the first things I'm going to do is obtain the residuals and square them. And I'm also going to create two new variables that have the predictor, which is percent riparian squared, as well as percent riparian again. All right, now that I've created this, what I want to do is I want to run a regression against the residual squared, which I've already created my predictor and my predictor squared, and then I'm going to look at the summary and the f-test associated with that summary. Okay, so over here we have the summary for the linear model, and when we look at it, we're only interested in one thing when we're doing this test. Now, this is the linear model on your squared residuals. We are only interested in this p-value right here. This is the p-value for the test that is interested in whether or not we have constant variance. Now, if you notice in this here, we do not have constant variance. Our null hypothesis is constant variance, and most people would reject the constant variance assumption based on this p-value. Now, the reason you do not look at the p-values associated with each coefficient in the model is that we are doing an overall test. If we look at the p-values associated with each one of the coefficients, we would say, well, they're not we can't reject that they're not equal to zero, so that we can assume they are zero. That's incorrect in this case. We only want to look at the p-value at the bottom. And in this case, we would declare that we have non-constant variance. All right, so this has been the R video tutorial on testing constant variance for regression using R. If you have any other questions, ask or watch the next video.